All right, guys. Back to these uh, mulberries. This is a neem tree, by the way. Well, you know, I put one over there. It had an unfortunate accident where apparently there was a lack of communication. Someone set it on fire. I'm going to leave that alone. But the other one we put down here, that leaf has gotten green. And I'm going to show you the difference. If you look down at the base there, there's new leaves coming in. So I think that successfully has transplanted. And we're going to leave her there. From this tree alone, I'm going to get all the rest of my other ones. Now, let me take you back up front before we get to the end of this short. We have a lot of different things just growing around here. I know the place looks completely wild. But I'm learning what each one of these different plants are and what they're good for. If you need some help with your mental health and all that, you got those guys out there, the tall ones. Well, this one have to probably not be on short. But anyway, this is what they look like. And you've seen how dark that other leaf was. So, we got something going on here. These are coming back around too. So, that's good to see. I got one here that died, I thought, but then that leaf, that, that, that uh, stem turned green on me. So, if it keeps going the way it's going, we would have three that survived. Um, I guess, I don't think I, I don't know if I did this before or not, but these are pomegranates. They call them Romans here, and they're growing up real nice right now. They were very small. This one is starting to come in too. This one in the center is a cola nut tree. That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice. <laughs> we got some natural tobacco. This was a rice experiment. <laughs> and it did good for what I was doing. Sunflowers. They're coming in and looking beautiful. Um, and lastly, over here we have a guava. She'll be coming out with us. Now, I think I showed y'all this before. And that lime is just doing great. And it all comes from that lime over there. You kind of can't see it because the bananas have. These guys here put a lot of nitrogen in the ground and it makes all this stuff bloom like crazy. I'm going to go back up in here and prune the uh, uh, papaya. So there's like three, I think, papaya trees over there. I'm going to try to see if I can take one out and take with me, but it's useless because... The villagers out there have already planted me, I think, around 30 of these. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank y'all for Joshua. They really do make you feel welcome. They made me feel welcome when they were still testing me. Yes, they did test me. This is a lime tree that's a very special one called a citron. And uh, look at the Jewish holidays to see what, how is that important. So, that's all, guys. Um, and the supernapia, which is very tall right now <laughs> uh i think that's a plant that if you got animals if you got even you can eat it so if you got any of that stuff going on you can eat it it's good for biofuel i was up at two, three o'clock this morning running new numbers on how to best utilize it to produce biofuel they'll give you a long distance picture that's this is the ones we directly planted. I think we put the video out for that. This was the experiment. If you didn't take care of it at all, what would happen? And they've gotten crazy. Along the walls here, believe it or not, these happened completely off accident. These these here did. We were I was cutting up to get ready to take a bunch out to the village. And some stick, some pieces got left behind and this shot up from there. <laughs> Uh, as you see, there's some cleaning going on here. I got them on the back wall because they also erosion control. And when rainy season hit, this whole area floods and goes underneath that wall. And uh, it's not the only area that does it, but like I piled up dirt over there. Now I'm saying like, you know, let's work smarter. So I've now put those on the back wall and they're gonna start catching that soil every rainy season and holding on to it. So that's what we got there. I think if we go back over here, let me see. I also got some beans out there, but they, they doing their thing. <laughs> they doing their thing. I don't know what, someone gave them to me as a gift. So they're growing. I'm basically gonna take those seeds and replant them. I'm not eating those just yet. So it should be here somewhere or 
Am I wrong and it's over there? I think it's here. We have a special tree. Here she is. She's this small. The moringa. She's coming in. We planted I planted the seed here. And she's doing good. She's doing real good. But if you want to see this other one I planted, it's looking even better than her. These guys, they call them uh, false melons here. But they're not false. They're something else. It's a uh, crepes are coming or something of that nature. They are actually edible. Um, I have to really get into it more detail to uh, figure out about trying to harvest them before they tear them all up. But I think they're going to probably tear this area out again. <laughs> think there's some plan in the work for onions or something I'm not sure all right so we got we still have duckweed growing even though the main pond has drained uh, a lot of the stuff the plants have took over in this area oh uh, yeah I cut out a couple of bananas by the way we had over here so I took a tree it's right there I'm gonna let it dry out and see what I can do with that as you see supernapia is here too but I put it here to see how strong it helps the tree to grow. And as you see, the supernapia is right there. This is the other moringa tree. This one got planted after that one. And it's bigger, stronger, and coming in lovely. Hopefully when we get out to the village, the other ones we put out will be showing themselves. And you know, I'll get to show you the videos of all that stuff. All these things that we're doing here, just getting reconnected to the earth. All right, people. I'm out. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. And yes, once I buy a new jack, this girl getting put back together. That girl's getting out of here soon, too, by the way. Not the silver one, but the white one. Uh, you know, a lot of times I get sick and I have to wait till I heal. It, takes a, it used to take a long time. It's getting better and better now. Especially the more I'm starting to adapt to using different herbs for healing. I picked up something, I guess, before I leave. I saw it to that's Rosemary over here. There she is. Hey, Rosemary. How you doing? Hey. So, if I'm seeing this correctly, I knew that came all. Oh, look how long you have gotten. So, this is the uh, guava tree, and that piece has gotten pretty long there. Uh, I'm going to do some more reading, but I, I'm thinking about maybe taking her off and try to get two or three trees out of this one. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. You see stuff that been messing with my leaves. We found out, I guess, a frog has was eating out here eating. I, I really didn't even know frogs ate leaves like that. This is another plant here that's really good for your stomach to help calm it. Um, Lipus Asperia. I'm, I'm, I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> I'll try to put it out there. Now, here, here's your cancer killer here. This is your cancer killer. This is your killer for everything here. This is, of course, called Gale of the Wind or Stonebreaker. You got a lot of plants that look like it, but if you see, it's kind of got this spiral pattern to the leaves. And if you flip them underneath, they got like these little eggs or seeds right underneath there. That's a beauty there. She's bitter, though. But she's wonderful. Y'all know about the snake plant. We got it over there. All right, people. You'll be seeing some of this stuff transplanted out there. Hopefully, if everything goes good on this trip. All right. Peace out. See y'all later.